let's go. Oh, my pants are falling. Ooh. Yo, here's the deal. <laughs> Yo, deal is this. Whew, got a lot of energy as usual, and I'm headed to the gym. Uh, about to go jump at least I say jump instead of dunk because I don't know if I'm gonna really dunk I definitely want to get that jump stimulus But the last dunk session I had I went super hard and my hamstrings really painful and I've had Injuries with my pain my hamstring in the past where I've kind of pulled it and that's how it feels It's not just sore. It's very painful. I have like no range of motion if I just bend at all It's super painful. It's def definitely different than soreness and I felt it in the past It's not that bad But I don't want to make it any worse and what I think it is thanks to John Evans for kind of pointing it out um, as I was jumping I was pushing off my left leg at, into my penultimate and I did that so hard so much uh, a little bit probably too much for the amount of jumping I've done in the past meaning I didn't really get gradual to jump that much in one session I felt it during the session but it wasn't that painful but as soon as I stopped it was pretty bad and now it's pretty bad so I just don't want to wait don't want to make it worse but I do want to jump so today will probably be mostly vert jumps maybe some drop steps maybe even some left right or maybe some plyos off a box. But I feel like as long as I don't extend my leg unilaterally, like I'm running or sprinting type thing, I feel like if I jump, it'll still be beneficial. All things being said, I need that anywho. I need to get my vert up. I need to get my drop step jumps up because I don't want there to be a big disparity as there has been in the past. And feeling good otherwise, I'm just gonna keep really careful care of my hammy and uh, dunk life. I just gotta work and you know I'm doing that. Never stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Whatever I lack, add it to my bag. And I got plenty more where that came from. And my price is right, I never change. But I don't get it done, get it done right. And that's every day, that's dunk life. Oh. So beautiful out there. Hey. Like I went blind dog, you gotta hand it to me. Putting in work, that's all we do. <laughs> bad I can like barely extend my legs so probably gonna keep it super light today just try to break a sweat and jump straight up straight up and down and that's about it but uh, I think it's still progress because I need to work on my vert so I'm feeling really good about it I just hope my hamstring doesn't take forever because I want to hit my peak real quick and get back to strength training so I could have time to transition back to this elastic phase before dunk camp I got like two and a half months I don't miss. my knee that's how good it feels 100 percent today totally forgot about it feel perfectly comfortable changing direction and hopping off it that's great i am out of breath i didn't sleep very well the past few nights i just keep waking up early wanting to do shit like get the day started so it's hard if i like wake up around whatever and i just have things i my mind starts going immediately it's hard to stay in bed i'm enjoying life man all right let's do some jumping Exactly nine nine and a half. I didn't even do my dynamic warm-up today because I just feel like extending my leg would hurt my hamstring and make it worse. I think at least I can make progress with my standing power jumps. What? That jump was actually pretty good. I got up decent height, but right before I jumped, I realized I haven't really jumped at all today. And I was about to go like full 100%, and I realized just like when I have a dunk session, I gotta gradually work up to that. So pr pretty good for my first jump, probably about like 70%. Let's see if I can get that two-hand rim hang off vert today. I'm happy with it because it feels really balanced. I went for two hands there and I just feel really balanced jumping equally off both legs, which is good. Uh, my reach is about, I think it was 91 inches, 91 and a half inches. So just touching nine, nine and a half, what is that? 26 inches. 26 inches, so like I think I'm jumping like 30 inches because I'm grabbing it like three inches down my hand. 30 inch max vert, it's terrible. I don't know, maybe like a 30, 31 inch standing vert. It's pretty bad, but I never do it. So uh, it's good to kind of get numbers on it and keep track of it. I think at dunk camp, I got like 32 or 33. I'll double check, but standing vert, atrocious. Ah. 
I got both fingers to the top and not enough to grab it. All right, probably, probably about one more. Um, okay. Right here on my hand. Um, all right. Not the most exciting day, but it's good to kind of have a baseline. It's good for me to kind of focus on one thing. I never do just straight vert jumps. I wish it was like more of my choice than just like because of my hamstring. But going forward, I think this is definitely gonna be helpful. I definitely wanna have days like this where I just do this. So that way it gives my full approach some rest because it, it works different muscles and I'm not going full speed. And it also works on my power a little bit because I've always had trouble with dribble dunks. And I think that's part of it. I don't work on this enough. So all in all good stuff and uh, hopefully hammy heals up. I'm just gonna be doing this until my hamstring heals up. Not just straight vert jumps, but just babying whatever I need to baby and staying in shape and doing what I can to stay elastic and work on my elasticity. I'll probably do some today, actually, some line hops. Those are really great for uh, feeling explosive. Whenever I do those consistently, I feel the quickest ever. So I definitely wanna do that today as long as it doesn't aggravate my hamstring. I might as well just do like the, the double leg ones. Let's get fast. So out of shape. Oh boy. Yes! One left right jump for good measure. It's fucking beautiful. There's always something you can work on. I mean, unless you're completely immobilized. I know it sucks to work on the little things when you want to dunk, but there's always something you can work on. And just let that fuel your discipline so that way you can make progress. Learn from me that injuries take you out but you can learn from them a lot. So try to learn from me so you don't have to learn from your own injuries, but keep pushing, stay disciplined. I got a really good question on Instagram recently. Um, can I talk about nutrition and self-control and healthy eating, something like that? And I'm gonna do a whole podcast on it because I have a lot to say about that, but it, it's, it's about your, you always gotta visualize what your goal is. So I have huge dunk goals. So for me today, if I think, if I push it today, I'm not gonna be able to even jump at dunk camp, that's only in a few months. But if I wanna think years down the line where I'm gonna be, if today would make me towards that goal or away from that goal, it makes it really easy to stay disciplined because I want that goal so badly, if that makes sense. Well, it does, you know what I mean? But just try to stay aware of your goals. Try not to be in the moment when you're doing your workout, but always have your goal in the back of your head and your intentions on what you wanna do. And that discipline will come easy if it's exactly what you want to do. Because I want to do this bad, bro. It's a whole life, bro. Dunk life. All right, that's it. Dunk life. Love you. See ya.